Soweto omnes, welcome to this uh, video lesson on Capitulum Decimum, uh, chapter 10. Title is Bestiae et homines, uh, beasts or animals, creatures, and humans. In pictura uh, sunt homines, in the picture there are people, vir et femina et puella, a man and a woman and a girl. Sunt aves, there are birds, in caelo, in the sky. Sunt pisces, in aqua, and there are fish in the water. So uh, this chapter will have some words to talk about human beings. Homines, homo, hominis, is the word for human. Homo sapiens, of course, is our species name, uh, which coming is coming from the Latin for essentially a person uh, who is wise, a wise person, homo sapiens. We will also have a number of animal terms in this chapter. As you see in the margin, we have asinus, uh, donkey or ass. That's where we get asinine from. Uh, we have leo, lion. We get the name leo and lion from that root. Aquila uh, is related to the word eagle in English, and that's what it means. Uh, we have some body parts here. Pace is foot, pace pedis. We get pedal and pedestrian from that. Ala is wing. Uh, cauda is tail. Uh, we get caudal fin. The tail fin is called the caudal fin uh, in more technical language. All right, so let's look back to the beginning of our story. Bestiae et homines. Equus et asinus, leo et lupus, canes et ovis bestiae sunt. The horse, equus, and the donkey, asinus, the lion, leo, and the wolf, lupus, the dog, canis, and the sheep, ovis, are animals, are creatures. Leo et lupus sunt bestiae ferae. The lion and the wolf are wild animals. Now, do note, as I've pointed out many times before, ferai, the adjective means wild or fierce, savage. Um, that adjective is coming second. It's after the noun, whereas in English we put it before. We say wild animals. They say bestiae ferai. Okay, the lion and the wolf are wild animals. Quae alias bestias capiunt et edunt, which capture and eat or grab, seize and eat, other animals. In Africa sunt multi leones. In Africa there are many lions. Pastores Africae leones tement. The shepherds of Africa fear the lions. Nam leones non solomoes pastorem edunt, sed etiam pastores ipsos. For the lions not only eat the sheep of the shepherds or the shepherd's sheep, but they also, sed etiam, eat the shepherds themselves, pastores ipsos. Non bestia, said homo, es pastor. Uh, a shepherd is not an animal, but is a human being. Now, literally, if we follow in order, it's like not an animal, but a person is a shepherd, right? Um, but we would normally use a different word order. Leones altem. The lions, however, non solum alias bestias, sed etiam homines edunt. They not only eat other animals, but they also eat human beings, homines. Ferrae et homines amici non sunt. Now this is a kind of a cliche phrase. Uh, wild animals and humans are not friends. Now this is generally the case, right? I mean, there are some people who try to be buddy-buddy with wild animals, but it can be very dangerous and sometimes they end up dead. So generally speaking, this is true. Canis amicus homines es, a dog is a friend of a, of a human, homines, ea bestia fera non est. It is not a wild animal, meaning a dog is not a wild animal. Now notice the word for it here, ea, is feminine, uh, Canis itself can be masculine or feminine. It's what we call a common noun. Uh, the reason that ea is feminine, the word that I translated as it, is because bestia is feminine. So it is not a wild animal because bestia, the word for animal there, is feminine. Latin just assumes it'd be best to make the pronoun feminine too. 
Okay, going on. Aliai bestia sunt aves, aliai pisces. Now, alius alia, this word means other. And in the plural, it's usually translated as some or others. So I would translate the sentence, some wild animals are birds, others are fish. You could also just say some are this, some are that. Aquila est magna avis fiera. An eagle is a big wild bird. So avis is a, is a word that means bird. It's where we get avian and aviary from. Quae par was avis capit et est. Which, quae, and notice that's the fem, uh, female or feminine word for which or who because avis fera and aquila are all feminine, right? The word for eagle and the word for bird are feminine. So, which eats or captures, copit, and eats, aced, small birds. So, eagles do eat uh, other birds. They, they can also eat a lot of fish. That's typically what they eat is a lot of fish. Always in aere volant. The birds fly in the air. Pisces in aqua natant. The fish swim in the, in the water. Um, now I should point out here, Pisces is a constellation of two fish, and it comes from Pisces. Um, pescatarian is somebody who eats vegetables and fish. They don't eat other meat. Homines in terra ambulant. People walk on the ground. Avis duas alas habet. A bird has two wings. You can see the ala there in the margin. Homo duos pedes habet. A person has two feet. Pedes is the accusative plural of pace. It's a third declension noun meaning foot. Piscis neque alas neque pedes habet. A fish, piscis, has neither wings nor feet. Neque neque. Awis quae volat alas moet. A bird, awis, which is flying or who is flying, quae volat. Notice quai is the feminine word for which because awis again is a feminine word. So the bird which flies moves its wings, alas moet. Homo quiambulat, a person who walks. And qui is the masculine word for who or which um, because homo is usually a masculine word. A person who walks moves his feet, pedes. Piscis quinatat, a fish who swims, caldon moet, moves his tail. And piscis is usually a masculine word, and that's why qui is the masculine form there. Cum always volat, alai moenter. When a bird flies, its wings, alai, that's the plural word, moenter, are moved. Notice the inter ending is our plural passive ending because wings are plural and here they are being moved, right? Passive. So again, when a bird flies, the wings are moved or are being moved. Cum homo ambulat, when a person walks, pedes mo winter, the feet are being moved. Mo winter, there's that plural passive ending again. Cum piscis natat, when a fish swims, Cauda, moeter, the tail is moved. Moeter has the singular passive ending, because this time we have a singular subject, cauda. Now we see in the picture a person walking, and it says, qui ambulat, the one who walks, vestigia in terra facit, makes tracks on the ground. Under that, we have some new words, potest, is able, posunt, are able, and they show you how those are made for, by putting a P-O-T on the front of est and sunt. Est means is by itself, sunt means are. Um, when the P-O-T goes onto the front of sunt, what happens is the T turns into an S. We've seen that before. It's something called assimilation. So potest and posunt are really from the same word. Um, and it's all about being able or possible, right? Potential and possibility come from that. We get that quod, which we've seen before, meaning which, can also be equal to quia, meaning because. 
we see Patasus, which is hat, and Mercurius, which is mercury, and then Neptunus, who is Neptune, another Roman god. Mercury is a god of trade, travel, and trickery. He's also known as the messenger of the gods. Neptune, or Poseidon, is the god of uh, water, earthquakes, and horses. All right, let us go back up here and read some more of the story. Qui ambulat vestigia in terra facet. The one who walks makes tracks on the ground. Qui volat altenatat vestigia non facet. The one who flies or swims does not make tracks. In horto et in silva multi aves sunt. In the garden and in the forest there are many birds. Canes aves quae interabores volant a spicket. The dog looks at the birds which are flying in between the trees. Canes ipse non volat. The dog itself does not fly. Non canes alas non habet. For the dog does not have wings. Canes volare non potest. The dog is not able to fly. Okay, volare with the R-E ending, that's an infinitive. In English, we do that by saying to do X. In this case, to fly. Neque pastor volare potest. Nor is a shepherd able to fly. Pastor duos pedes habet. A shepherd has two feet. Itique pastor ambulare potest. And so, a shepherd is able to walk, or can walk, right? Homines ambulare posunt. People are able to walk, quod pedes habent, because they have feet. There's that quote uh, equal to quia, meaning because. Neque volare posunt, nor are they able to fly, quod alas non habent, because they do not have wings. Now we're there at line 25, so let's stop there, part of the way through section 1, and we'll pick up again and finish section 1 next time. Valete omnes.